Hello YouTube, this is Sonic 2 gecko here and uh, welcome back to a new tutorial series. This is a new one. Uh, it's a Python tutorial series, but the old one was pretty... Eh, it was alright. So, um, now that I know a lot more of Python, I know a lot more about it, I thought I would start the series again from uh, scratch. And it's going to be in Python 2.7.6. Uh, there's no difference virtually, but 2.7.6 fixes a crash that uh, had an effect on Mac OS X Mavericks machines. Even though Apple still ship Python 2.7.5 as the default Python for uh, OS X or OS X, OS X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I don't know why they haven't updated because it causes that crash. But if you're running a Mac and you have 2.7.5, uh, you should you should consider updating to 2.7.6 to fix that crash. But even if you're following along in 2.7.5 or 2.7.2 even, there shouldn't be much of a difference. But note that installing a different version of 2.7 will overwrite your current 2.7 installation because of the way Python works. Um, let's get on with the series though. So uh, I'm going to assume that you have no Python knowledge and that you've just installed Python and that you're just raring to go, you're, you're ready to get into coding, your first Python application. So to do that, what we do is we type print hello world. Oh, I'm running left today. Uh, let's see, build system, uh, Python. I'm using Sublime Text and I can just build it. So if you're using Sublime Text, what you can do is whenever you make your new file, you save it as, you make a new file and you save it as whatever, yeah, this can be whatever, as long as it ends in .py. It has to end in .py because that means it's a Python file. That means whenever uh, your code is being run, it says, oh, you're using Python, that programming language you just installed. Ah, I see now, this isn't just a normal text file or doc file. This is a Python code file, right? So. If you're using uh, Splend Text and it doesn't automatically default to this, select Python, go to Tools, Build System, and Python. This is the same in Sublime Text 1, 2, and 3. Well, I'm not sure about 1, but I would guess it would be the same in 1. So we build this. In Sublime Text, you can build with Control B or Command B. But if you're just running Windows and you're using a regular editor or you're using Notepad, what you want to do is you want to type you want to go to where your file is stored, so in my case it's in programming, python, uh, youtube tutorial series, it's there. Uh, to check to make sure you have python installed, type python, if you get an error like uh, command not found, there's a problem. But um, if everything runs fine then you should get a python prompt like I just did. So you want to do is type, want to type python and then main.py or whatever your file name is and it will run your python code so what print does is it prints something out to the console this is what's known as the console this is where all your command line output comes out uh, if you've ever installed files using something like homebrew uh, you'll know that there's like some command line output and then at the end it'll say uh, brood whatever file and it'll give you some other technical stuff that's basically what print does it displays command line output and what it does is after it prints this text it takes a new line uh, it, it just does a new line and so our, it'll print this text i'm pointing to it uh it'll print this text and then it'll take a new line and then if there's nothing else to run then the python program exits we could make this say whatever we wanted. Uh, we could make it say Eamon is boss. Oh, there's no. Maybe yeah, Eamon is boss. This here, these uh, quotation marks, these could be. Well, they're quotation marks technically. Um, hold on. They, they could be double quotes or they could be single quotes. So, up to you completely. Um, uh, but it has to be in quotation marks. It has to be in either double quotes or single quotes. 
unless it's a number. If it's a number, then it doesn't have to be in single quotes or double quotes because Python reads that as a number. Whereas anything that's text, Python will read anything in this as text. And since we're printing out text, we want it to be read as text. And that's why we have to put it in quotation marks, either single or double quotes. But a number is read as a number in Python. If we do this, then Python will think that these this is Python syntax, this is Python code. When it's not, it's just text that we wrote and we want print to print. Print is a reserved word in Python, which means you can't use it for anything else. Uh, but you can put it in text. Print is boss. But as long as something is in double or single quotes, it's treated as text. If it's not, it's treated as uh, Python syntax, which is Python code and numbers are python code technically so that's why you don't have to put numbers in quotation marks you can if you want and it doesn't really make too much difference it still displays the same thing so here it output a 10 here it outputs 10. notice how Eamon is just gray but that is pink that means that python recognizes this as a number and it accepts that you can just print it without quotation marks. So just to recap, if something's text, you have to print it out in either single or double quotes. But if it's just numbers, then you can just uh, print the number without the quotation marks. If you try print print, it will give you an error. But if we do print print in quotation marks, then it says print. So I hope you learned something from this, from this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And you're on your way to programming in Python. I, my name is Scientific K and I will see you in the next tutorial.